everybody. We are here with Justin Gatlin. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Thank you so much for being here in the studio with us. Um, when did you know, actually, that you had what it took to be in the Olympics? I feel in college. In college and in high school. I remember my high school coach telling me that I was a world-class athlete, and I was like, Psh, you don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm still running state championships and county meets. And it, it just gave me inspiration to go on to be an Olympic champion. Definitely. Now, you won the medal, gold medal, that is, not just any medal, a gold medal. What was the experience like? You know, I mean, I want to know, literally, like, when they said, Justin Gatlin, the gold. What, what was, like, going on in your mind? What was going through your, you know, what was going on with you? Well, the expression used um, when you're beside yourself, that's how I felt. I felt like I had an out-of-body experience. Uh, wow. Watching myself run, watching myself win. It's, I tell people that I would never, I would trade the medal to keep the moment forever in my, in my life, in my mind. So. Wow. Um, you started training at what age, and what type of discipline did you have? <laughs> I, started, I started running in middle school. Um, middle just to school? get out, yeah, just to get out of, but just to get out, you know, just to get out of class and everything, right, 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 have right. fun track-wise. But when right. I started training and taking it serious was uh, college. I left college my sophomore year to become a professional athlete. So they think they felt I had the chops to do it. What advice do you have for, um, uh, you know, the youth today uh, training for the Olympics? Well, I think that anyone who is trying to prepare themselves for such a commitment as to be an Olympic athlete it's patience. You gotta mm. have a lot of patience, and you gotta know that you're gonna win some, you're gonna lose some. That quote really goes for track and field and any kind of Olympic athlete, because it only comes around every four years. So you gotta prepare yourself for nine seconds every four years to run to wow. win an Olympic gold medal. Yeah. That's really good advice. Yeah. That's very good advice. Now, what about um, actually looking for a coach? You know, all the young people out there, oh, I can run, oh, I can, you know, they're yeah. great. And they're, and they're good. They're good in their high school, they were good in middle school, and they're getting ready to go to great colleges with great sport uh, scholarships and everything. What advice do you have for them as far as how to get, you know, the right coach to actually take you to the Olympics? Well, it's, it's all about doing your research. Finding a coach has, been, has had athletes to go to the Olympics who have been successful athletes, um, Do they just coach. take anybody? That's you know. Well, uh, obviously, it's it's almost like a a love love situation. If the coach thinks you're good enough to be an Olympic wow. runner, and you think the coach is good enough to get you there, then you have obviously you have a plan together. And I think being an a, an athlete and having a coach is like almost like a glove. You want to make sure that their character, their their goals are on the same line as what you want in hmm. life. So. There's, there's, there's a coach and everybody, as a coach and an agent for everyone out there. Definitely. That's interesting. Yeah. Make sure it's the same as what you want. That's interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Um, the U.S. Olympic winners um, will go down in our history, as well as our first African American president, Barack Obama. How does it feel to be a part of history? It feels really good. Actually, I went to the inauguration, and I was out there in the cold, and I waited to see Barack. And um, for that split second, you know, I was out there with family. And when he walked down the street, he looked over and he saw me. And he recognized who I was and he pointed to me. Right. And for that split second, it felt good. It felt really good. I can imagine that. That's like so <laughs> cool. That's like the coolest thing in the world to be a part of history. Um, reality show. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. What's going on with you with this reality show? It's a reality show slash documentary. Um, and it's getting ready for an athletic channel like ESPN, ESPN2, and to show the life of an athlete out of their, out of their realm, what, what the public knows, as in off the court or off the field or off the track, and show how we get along in society as well as athletes. And it's going to be a little zany, a little fun, you know. Athletes can be dorks sometimes, too. Athletes can be, you know, jerks, we know. But to see what an athlete is and what drives them to be who they are off out of their own realm and out of their own comfort zone. And that's what it is. And we're going to be shooting in San Diego, um, somewhere a little different. Wow. Yeah. What part do you play in that? What uh, role do you carry in this? Well, obviously, I'll, I will be the athlete. 
one of the athletes of in the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, also other, other friends and people who are close to the athletes who will uh, also be filmed. It'll be almost like a camaraderie, a camaraderie wow. show. Best friends and how they go through life and the ups and downs that they have. So it's going to be a good show. It's going to be a good, really good show. And um, I, I started a production company as well. For It's called Final Sun. So it's Final Sun, uh, S-U-N. So, and um, check it out. And I also i doing a lot of things outside of track and field. Wow. So that's what wow. Show. That sounds like fun. You know, <laughs> it's like, you're, you know, you're on TV anyway. Everybody knows who Justin Gatlin is. But you're actually going to be on TV in a whole different arena. So they're going to be able to see you in a whole different light. That's really interesting. But when we come back, one word game with Justin Gatlin. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. We are here with Justin Gatlin. We're going to play the one-word game. <laughs> I'm going to give you the instructions, okay? You got me nervous, okay. All right. You will be asked a question with one word. You will answer the first thing that comes to your mind <laughs> with one word. You cannot repeat any words during the game. Do you understand? Yes. You yes, do? Yes. You think you do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Date. Like. Optimistic. Good. Justin. Great. <laughs> Youth. Young. Sex. Love. Race. Passion. History. Legacy. Discipline. Hard. Love. Tough. <laughs> Flag. Patriotic. Metal. Long. Winner. Me. <laughs> Me? Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. You are a winner. Justin, you made it through all the questions without repeating. No, and what we're going to give you is congratulations. A pat on the back? Yeah, a pat on the back. A pat on the back. You're the first one on in the studio that has actually made all the questions without repeating the words. So let's give it up for Justin Gottlieb. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here with us, Justin. I appreciate it so much. And when we come back, Ken Buford in the studio. When we come back. 